for Sheriff David Clark of the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office. Great to see you, Sheriff. So you know that this is this is the message that it's um, we need to. We need to get guns out of the hands of folks like this, but this guy had no record. You know, he was a, he was a vet. He was an Army vet. Um, and I don't know. The rhetoric's bad, but I don't know that it caused this guy's behavior. <laughs> Megan, I'm sorry, but I'm still trying to make sense out of that babble that uh, was coming out of the mouth of Jesse Jackson. He was talking about uh, weapons that can bring down airliners. He's talking about surface-to-air missiles. Those aren't on the streets in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. that, 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 was, that was a pathetic display of what he did. But look, look, look at the situation um, that we face right now. We have some very irresponsible rhetoric coming from some very powerful people. It is time for this nation to stand up with one voice and to condemn and shun this movement called Black Lives Matter. I would like to see the Southern Poverty Law Center place Black Lives Matter alongside those other hate groups that were mentioned, these black nationalist groups, the Black Panther Party, the uh, Nation of Islam. It doesn't mean that those organizations will go away just because they're on that list, but what happens is people start to delegitimize these movements and marginalize them. This movement needs to be marginalized. We have looked at this stuff, we have peeled back the layers, we've looked at the data, We've looked at the research. None of their false narrative about the uh, uh, use of force, about the American police officer, can be proved. None but, of it. But why, Zero. How would that and so have, it is, it is how time. How would that have helped but this? Megan, you know, because this guy wasn't part the, of Black Lives time, Matter. It is time for, he said, according to the chief down there, Chief Brown, he was doing this uh, in the name of Black Lives Matter. He said he wanted to kill The language white was people. a little different than no. that. He did say no, the latter. Okay, but it is yeah. time for the liberal mainstream media, the liberal mainstream media, the New York Times editorial board, the uh, CNN, MSNBC, to stop walking on eggshells and giving legitimacy to these rants, to all this false narrative coming mm -hmm. out of this Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. Once we do that and marginalize this group, then we can go about all the work. I listened to Loretta Lynch today. I couldn't, that was a great political statement, uh, but nothing else. I don't need to be lectured to her about what we should or shouldn't do after this. I think she should have taken questions. Whenever you have an incident like this, somebody, somebody, the Chief Donner is doing a fabulous job of keeping the public informed. Mm -hmm. She came out, she intermingled this thing with some, you know, gun control, this, that, and then just, you know, took off. That, that yeah. was irresponsible. Yeah. So. Once, and, you know, the rhetoric I don't think is going to go away, but we need to delegitimize this Black Lives Matter movement. We've had enough of their nonsense. Sheriff, I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Megan.